So on Saffron, we allow users to upload their own images for recipes. And one thing I was noticing specifically on iOS is when users were trying to upload images from their phones, those images would load a little bit slower than all the other images. And when I looked into it, it turned out just the images you take with your iPhone are actually quite big um, compared to some other images. They were around one megabyte. And I even tried initially just resizing the image before I uploaded it to my server, um, but that was not enough. So what I introduced was some image optimization on the server to help reduce some of the file size for that. And in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, the code that I used to do that. So I tweeted this on Twitter and there's a lot of people that are interested in it. So I thought I'd go more in depth on what it looks like and how it works and how you can introduce something like this yourself if you want to. All right, so this is specifically for um, in Node taking an image, compressing it, and then uploading it to S3. This is the main function that I'm gonna talk about. And I put this on gist or on uh, GitHub and I'll link this if you wanna look at this code. So this is my main function, upload buffer. And basically a buffer is just an array and this buffer is for images. So this is an image buffer. And I'm using this library called image min um, and it has a buffer function. That's the other thing. The reason why I'm putting this, the image into a buffer is because image min requires a buffer or requires um, you pick an image off your file system. But in this case, I wanted to use a buffer. And then you tell it what plugins you want. Um, and these plugins are what actually do the optimization. So in my case, uh, the main one that I'm using is called Moz JPEG, and I specified a quality of 85. So I'm gonna talk about convert to JPEG in a second, but this is the main compression algorithm that I'm using. This is something that Mozilla created. And uh, the quality is kind of like how much I want it to compress and how much I want to keep how well the image looks, the crispness and all that. Um, so I went with 85, that seemed to be the suggestion when I was just searching online. And uh, what this does is it only compresses JPEGs, so that's another important point. At least with the content that I'm dealing with, where there are food images, um, I figured serving them as JPEGs was probably going to be my best bet. So what I'm doing is I'm converting anything that is not a JPEG to a JPEG. And that is what this convert to JPEG function does. So the, the plugins, what happens is I convert everything to a JPEG, then I compress it, uh, and then I upload it to S3. So that's what this little bit here is. Generate a random file name, and then I upload it to S3. Oh, just like that. Um, so if we come up here, what convert to JPEG does is it just takes a buffer, checks if it is a JPEG. Obviously, I don't need to convert it to a JPEG if it's already a JPEG. And the isJPEG function I'm getting from this library for those of you that are interested in how this is implemented, I actually just took a quick peek through the source code. Uh, they just check the first three buffers, uh, or the first three entries in the buffer to see whether there's a JPEG. There's certain values that you can do to know whether they are or not. Uh, and then assuming it's not a JPEG, then you're probably dealing with probably a PNG or a WebP uh, image. So uh, one reason I'm not serving WebP, that's the other thing, is some browsers don't support WebP yet. So I went with JPEG as the default. And so I'm using this library called Sharp um, to basically handle PNGs, WebP, convert them to a JPEG, convert them to a buffer, and then we send them through uh, that. So that is the gist of how this is working. Um, the, main, the main thing to get this to work is use image min and use the Moz JPEG to actually compress the image. Now, how do you get your image into a buffer? So for me, I'm using GraphQL, so I used, um, I'm used i using Apollo server for my server, and they have a middleware that handles uploaded files. But this is basically would work if you're using a REST API and you had some middleware to get uh, images, or really any file in general. And so what the middleware does is uh, we get basically, I call it just a picture object or a file object and uh, it's of the type upload. This is just a custom type that I created. Um, but basically what it allows you to do is you can get a read stream from it. So that's basically the most important part. You have some file that gives you access to a read stream. Um, so you can call create read stream on it. So this is what you get if you're using Apollo server. You get a picture 
and your one of your variables and it's a promise that resolves to an upload type you could say and then you can call create read stream on it so you'll notice image min i need a buffer for it so basically what this what you're about to see this chunk of code does is it converts a readable stream into a buffer that way we can optimize it through image min now I was thinking this is probably not super like efficient because basically I'm pumping the entire buffer into or the entire stream into a buffer and then sending it through ImageMin. It'd be really nice if I could pipe the data as we're getting it from the stream and optimize it like that, but that didn't seem possible. Or maybe I'm doing it the wrong way. But anyway, let's take a look at how I'm actually converting the readable stream into a buffer. That way I can optimize it. So I have an array up here, and this is basically an array of buffers. And then, uh, so this is where I'm going to store all the buffers as I read them in from a stream. Um, and then here I just make it to a readable stream, uh, or I guess I uh, just await the promise, I mean. And then here is where I turned it into a promise. So I said, new promise, and I'm awaiting the promise to finish. And what am I waiting on? I'm calling a create readable stream and when we get new data we're going to pass it into the buffers um, and then when we're done when on end is called that means we have all the data for the image uh, we can concatenate all the buffers into a single buffer um, and that's what we're going to uh, return here otherwise we just return null and uh, we we capture the error with sentry so basically we're listening to the stream, grabbing all the data, concatenating to a single buffer, and then passing it to ImageMin to do its thing. So if you have a readable stream and node, you can follow basically the same code. Um, and this is how it would work with Apollo Server. The upload data type that you get, you can just pass it to this function that I'm using and turns into a buffer, passes it to here. We optimize the buffer and then we upload the buffer to S3 is basically the sequence that I went through. Um, and so far it's been working pretty well and I'm getting uh, better or I guess smaller file sizes because of this now. So this is pretty handy. Anyway, uh, this is on GitHub. I'll link this if you wanna take a look at it. Um, and that's it for this video.